National Educator. Hey, what are you demonstrating today? Ah, Malim, I'm not holding any demonstrations. Actually, you know, this one is to remind me of what we studied in the last lesson. You remember? We were talking about supporting plants, but more so yes. in plants. That's what yes, we focused that's what on. We covered. Yes, where we said it, they are the specialized tissues which aid in support, which include the parenchyma, Good. the colenchyma, yes. the sclerenchyma, yeah. and the xylem tissue. Wow, that's exactly. wonderful. You yes. remember what we covered about supporting plants. Yes, and I today, do. today, yes. we are going to cover more on support and movement in plants and animals. Okay, before we even continue, let's introduce the show. Hello, dear viewers, students at home, parents and children. Welcome to yet another informative biology lesson. I'm your host for the day, Jack Mutinda, and I am with the ABLE teacher. Hello, viewer. My name is Michael, a biology teacher. And today we are going to learn more about support and movement in plants and animals. And in specific, the area we are going to cover today is a very simple, easy to understand and interesting part of biology. Stay tuned and you will enjoy the show. Welcome. Actually, for the interesting part, I concur with you, but I wish I could say it's simple. I really wish I could no, say Jack, that. No, <laughs> Jack. Come on. Anytime when you need to learn, mm -hmm. all you need is the right attitude. When you have the right attitude, any learning subject becomes simple, easy, and interesting. And that is what enables every student get the best from himself. So and that is how we nurture the potential of every learner. So now it's all about the attitude. It's all about the mindset, which I have. That will help me see biology is simple, just like Molimo said it. Yes. Okay, my attitude today is I will learn everything. My attitude. There, I am Great. ready. Yes, I you are right. Ready. Now you have the right mindset. <laughs> yes. And how does it feel? I feel ah uh, feels like I'm gunning for a straight A in my biology exam. The next one. That's great. <laughs> yes. Today we are going to learn about the importance of support and movement in plants and animals. We will also cover under supporting animals the types of skeletons. And by the way, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to achieve the following objectives. The mm -hmm. first one, you should be able to state the necessity of support and movement in plants and animals. And we are going to split this into four. All right. The importance of supporting plants. The importance of supporting plants. The importance of movement in animals importance of movement in animals we will outline how plants compensate for absence of locomotion movement how plants compensate for absence of locomotion and also we will mm -hmm. discuss how plants get the benefit of support and also for the animals the importance of support in animals and finally the second objective you must be able to identify three types of skeletons which are found in animals with you say the skeleton yes are in, you scared in, of skeleton in, no i'm not scared by the way you will not be here <laughs> were it not for your skeleton it is the skeleton that brought you here no just imagine your body without a skeleton <laughs> oh okay now when you put it that way you know it makes it no is it the skeleton brought me a bear like Ay, skeleton <laughs> yeah it's interesting to cover the skeleton as mm. we cover the skeleton later you realize that mm. you have a tail a postanol tail that's for another Wait. date not for today <laughs> ah okay sir that's for, that's yeah okay, before that's we for proceed to the skeleton <laughs> Yeah. Let us first review what we covered in the previous lesson about supporting Supports. plants. Yes, exactly. That's why. Yeah. That's why. As you stated earlier, mm -hmm. there are four support tissues in a plant. Yes. Can you recall them? The parenchyma, the sclerenchyma, the colenchyma, and the xylem. Excellent. Yes. Dear learners watching us, list the four, and for each of the four support tissues, 
state the adaptation as mechanical support. We also learned about support in herbaceous plants, where we yes. stated that the mainly gets support through tajidity. Very good. <laughs> yeah.